Hey, welcome back. Um, we're in the, not in the Wazoo Pottery Studio this time, we're in my kitchen. And have you ever worked with transfer paper? That's what we're going to be talking about today. And if you'll notice that on my table, I've kind of laid out what we're going to be doing. And in this particular paper, we have all sorts of cats. Cats seem to be popular. And on the other side of the table, we have mandalas. If, if you've ever seen a mandala, they're very, very complicated as far as making them and then coloring them. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the patterns, we're going to cut pieces and put them on bisqueware. This is bisqueware. It came out of the, the kiln. You can always tell bisqueware by that sound. And uh, this has been um, sanded and ready to um, glaze if I wanted to, put an underglaze, um, put a regular um, shiny glaze on. But we're going to use these today <clears throat> to make um, a cat mug. We're going to make a cat mug out of this. <clears throat> and then we're going to take this big bowl, which is a mixing bowl, and this has also been bisqued. You can see the throwing rings. And we're going to apply some mandalas to that to make that bowl a little bit more interesting. So what we're going to do, we're going, what we're going to need actually, first off, is just a little bowl with a sponge. And what we're going to be doing is taking the ink and transferring the ink to the bisqueware. And you'll see how that's done. I'm going to be cutting out um, some pieces uh, of the cats and the mandalas. So we'll be right back. Okay, so um, after that break, you can see I have actually cut what I'm going to use on my mug. And if you've done any kind of wallpapering, this is kind of similar to that. Because what I want to do is I want to wrap this whole piece around this mug. Obviously, we know that we want to have the best part showing on this part, where you're going to be drinking from. And then also on this part, where people will see what you're drinking in the, the mug itself. If you notice on the back, I've cut some uh, pieces. And this piece will actually go around the handle and then I'll be able to paste it in place. But I want to talk a little bit too about where I got this. And this is transfer paper that is actually made out of rice paper. And I ordered it online from Sanbao Studios. And the website is on the bottom on the left, which says www chinaclayart.com and you can see some of the pieces from the pictures and how beautiful they look just by using transferware. Be aware that it is pretty expensive, it's pretty pricey but I think if, um, if you try it you really will really like it. It makes your pieces look so much more professional. So that's Sanbao Studio at www.chinaclayart.com. Now let's get back to our applying the paper transfer wear to our mug. I'm just going to set this aside. And really all we need, I've got a towel here just in case I make a mess. I always gotta keep things nice and clean. That way I don't get yelled at. All right. So I got my mug in place. I got my water where I can see it. I've got my scissors right here in case I need to do more clipping. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna take 
this. And once I get it in place to where I want it, then I'm going to start applying with a brush, or excuse me, um, a small sponge. So you can see from here, I'm going to probably start right there. I don't know if I want to have that edge done. So you know what, I'm just going to clip that right off. So easy to clip. I'm using my mustache scissors. So in case I need to trim up a little bit during the breaks, I've got my mustache scissors ready. So I'm going to carefully just clip that off. And this is actually where I'm going to start. So, when you are applying your um, water, first of all, this is the side that is not going to be the side where I just used it for um, cutting purposes. But we really want to put it ink side down. You see what I did? All right. So it's not the, it's the, the back side, because the other side, this side right here, contains the ink that's going to be transferred, hence transfer wear, onto my piece. So, starting here, and we're going to try not to wrinkle. The paper is pretty forgiving, and what we want to do is just moisten enough and smooth as we go. Once we have it moistened, it pretty much stays in place. Just moisten. Never do you want to rub a place that's already been moisturized, or <laughs> had moisture applied to it, because what happens then is you get ink that runs, and it's going to smear. You can take a look from time to time it's okay if it wrinkles in an area where it's not the cat. But it really is just applying the water and moving the mug. We apply the water and turn the mug. And you can see I'm just finishing up the edge. And I won't need that piece that goes near the bottom. So I'm going to clip that right off. Careful not to. And by the way, if you don't think it's sticking too well, you can pick this up. Look, you can see that these are already stuck on. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to kind of smooth that in place. And these kitties are a little bit overlapping but that's okay too not too many people are going to be paying attention to where the handle is so with remember the technique what I'm using right here is just kind of wet and roll wet and roll wet and roll I'm just going to give that just another little bit of a just to what? Just to be sure. We don't want half a cat on the mug. And in a minute, we will be able to peel this off, which is the best part, is actually seeing this come alive. So, with that in mind, I'm going to start peeling off. If I find that the... Um, transfer didn't take, I can always put it right back on from the peeling part. But you don't want to tear. You want to peel it gently. And so you can see that they're coming out pretty good. Wouldn't this be great for any cat lover? Now you see this one right here. It looks like it didn't take quite so I'm going to push that back, and I'm going to give it a little bit more water. It just looked like it didn't take. 
for some reason. Come on, now you got a stick on here. Let's see. Much better. As we go around, this one right up here may be, well, I think he's okay. It's not going to be exactly perfect, but. And here we are. This is the transfer of the cats. What do you think? Okay, we're now in the pottery studio. And um, what I'm gonna show you is how we can maybe uh, touch these up a little bit. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I don't know many potters that are not perfectionists. Obviously we want our, our work to look, you know, as professional as possible. So if you can see on the mug, there are some places in the seams where the paint didn't quite, um, the, the ink didn't quite transfer. So I'm going to take a little bit of my black um, underglaze and I've just shaken it up and I'm going to paint in the pieces. I've used this black underglaze and of course I have my artist brush a little bit of water and what I'm going to do is I have shaken this up and there's just a little bit of black ink in the, the top so what I want to do is put that ink with a little bit of water and what I want to do is really make it watered down so that I can get a fine point I'm hoping sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so always be prepared for plan B to go into action so let's take a look at one of these guys here and let's say we're looking at this guy right here. He needs a front. So I'm going to take my paintbrush very gently. And let's do his tail. Kind of dotting that in there. This guy needs a little back. Let's put him in there. And let's see, that one got a little smeared, but that's okay. Because that's towards the end. So I'm just going to sharpen it up a little bit. Put some eyes in there. Happy little tree. Um, as we go around, okay. I'm not too crazy about this going above the line. I'm going to show you how to take that right out. Otherwise, these guys look pretty good. <laughs> 